You are listening to part 17B of the podcast series, 21 Qualities of a Leader. Let me give you another people principle, since we're talking about security statements and hurting people. It's what I call the troublemaking principle. The troublemaking principle is very simple. When one person has conflicts with many people, that person is usually the problem. Hello. You know what? If Bob has a problem with Susie and Bob has a problem with Jack and Bob has a problem with Harriet and Bob has a problem with Amy and Bob has a problem with Jerry, Bob has a problem. Isn't that right? It's a troublemaking principle. Again, we have a tendency to be carriers. We either are carriers of health or we're carriers of dysfunction in our life. And in the area of of a quality for a leader to have, security is huge because if I'm insecure, I'm going to carry stuff with me that's just going to get me in trouble. In fact, the number one principle that I love also is that the only relationship that is continual and therefore most important is with yourself. Insecure leaders have several common traits. Number one, they do not provide security for others. Why? Because you cannot give what you do not have. If you're insecure, you can't create a secure environment. I'm sorry, but it just won't happen. Why is transferring security to others important? Why is it important to transfer security to others? Number one, most people are insecure. One of the greatest advices a person gave me as a very young pastor was, John, convey confidence every chance you get an opportunity because most of the people who walk in the door are insecure. Number two, security is needed when change occurs. Whenever there's change going to happen within an organization, security is absolutely essential, and leaders are always change agents. And number three, security is needed when vision is followed. People need to have a secure base before they will follow the vision and pursue. So insecure leaders have several common traits. One, they don't provide security for others. Number two, they take more from the people than they give. Insecure people are takers. And let me explain why. Insecure people are on a continual quest for validation, acknowledgement, and love. And their focus is on finding security, not instilling it in others. Number three, they continually limit the best people. In the paragraph in your notes, show me an insecure leader, and I'll show you someone who cannot genuinely celebrate his people's victories. He might even prevent them from realizing any victories, or he might take credit personally for the best work on his team. Here's the way I've often said it in the area of insecurity. If you have a 10 as a leader, tops, I mean a really good leader, 10s try to recruit 10s. The law of magnetism, we attract who we are, not who we want. And 10s attract 10s. Now watch this. Nines attract eights. Sevens attract fives, fours attract ones. The lower you go on the leadership ladder and the more insecure you are, the wider the gap you desire between yourself and those around you. The final thought on security. Number four, insecure leaders continually limit the organization. The law of empowerment again says only secure leaders give power away to others. That's a fact. The last statement in your notes before we go to the next quality. Nothing is a greater impediment to being on good terms with others than being ill at ease with yourself. What I have discovered is the best of leaders are secure. It's their foundation. 